Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Burning in Belgium. First off, I would like to apologize for my absence the last couple of weeks. Uh, this, this can happen. I've been busy in my private life, so... Sorry. So tonight, I would like to bring two sauces to you from the 420 Chili Company. I will give you a clearer picture of both bottles. The label has sustained some damage in my fridge, but I found it on the internet. So this is the Jack and Coke hot sauce. Yes, it is what it is. Uh, it's a hot sauce with Jack Daniels whiskey and Coca-Cola in it and it was made after a suggestion from Keith Richards if I understood it well from the Rolling Stones um, there are two uh, kinds of it one of them has ordinary levels of uh, Jack Daniels and uh, habanero chocolate, but this one, in honor of Keith Richards, has twice the amount of whiskey and twice the amount of chocolate habanero. So naturally, that's the one I bought. And then, of course. There is also the classic. Let me look up that one. The four twenty classic consoles. And if you have been paying attention attention to the text on the label, um, they are Germany based. But Sasha, who is running the company, is originally from England. Very lovely man, as a matter of fact. Now these sources have been in my possession for several weeks which would explain that they're close to running on empty no worries i will still be honest as as honest as possible in fact now i have been able to properly test them both in my food and straight up from the spoon. So first we're going to do the classic. The bottle itself is classic, as you can see. Very easy to use squeeze bottle. Mm. You can smell the roast bell peppers right away. Maybe it would be better if I give the rest of the ingredients as well. So, Carolina Reaper chili, mango. Uh, ingredients are in German. Fortunately, I speak a little German. So, uh, white wine vinegar, uh, red bell pepper, raspberry. Tomatoes, um, mustard, sugar, salt, garlic, onions, and cider. And when I take a whiff of the smell, I get the rose bell peppers right away. Lovely smell. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. There's definitely Carolina Reaper in it. But unlike some of the, well, most of the other Reaper based uh, sauces that I have had ever since I started doing this, this sauce doesn't have the typical Reaper flavor. Instead, it has the, the roasted bell pepper. Onions, definitely. There is some vinegar in it, but it's not as strong as usually in most hot sauces. It's actually a nice, sweet tasting hot sauce with definitely a nice, strong kick. So, the bottle says that it is 10 out of 10 in heat level, and with all the Carolina Reaper in it, I would tend to agree. So, Sasha, my compliments, this is an excellent sauce. Now, excuse me. Sorry, can't drink uh, on screen because some uh, pages will not allow me to post them. <sighs> nice afterburn too. Now, people who have already heard of the 420 Chili Company may have also seen some of Sasha's videos. They are on YouTube, just like my own. And uh, I should say, look them up. I'll try to put in the address on the bottom of the, of the screen. along with the links to both sauces. Let's see if I can find any more information on the 420. After burden is starting to subside, I will do the next sauce in a couple of minutes. And let's see, it will be easier if I do it from my phone. Ah, here. The 420 Chili Company is based in the community of Gostenhof in Nuremberg, Germany. They produce handmade chili products from the finest regional product produce and rare chilies from around the world. Oh dear. 
Okay. Yes, this one won't be on some sites. So next up. Is the Jack and the Coke? <sighs> Ingredients Brown sugar, seriously. Another Rolling Stones reference Coca Cola, apple vinegar, molasses. Um, Red bell pepper, Jack Daniels whiskey, chocolate habanero, garlic, onions, uh, tomato paste, salt, and pepper. It, it has a sweet barbecue like uh, scent coming from it. Very no, you can definitely uh, feel the molasses in texture. Mm. There's a syrupy texture in it as well from the Coca Cola. Uh, slight Coca Cola taste. The roast onions are definitely present. Very nice touch. And. <laughs> Also the red bell peppers, but I get more of the onions. Not as strong as the as the classic, but still very lovely sauce with a definite eight out of ten heat level. Um, let's see. Sasha sent me a couple of things about it a while back. Maybe I can find them. Yeah, so apparently you can use the Jack and Coke uh, uh, mixed with mayonnaise to use with your chips. And I think it will be best if I let you hear the whole fragment when it's ready. One moment. Well, that was actually the first sauce I ever developed. 
Um, it was basically to start with, it was about mango and raspberry and red savina. And over the years, I've uh, augmented the recipe. I first made that sauce in its most basic form when I was 14 years old, and I'm now 42. I'll be 43 this year, so it's almost 30 years development that's gone into the flavour profile. There, super happy you like it, <clears throat> and I was very happy when the Carolina Reaper came along because it works so well with the flavour mixture. Yeah, makes me smile. Thank you for the lovely feedback. So, Classic has been around for quite a while now and apparently it has undergone quite a couple of changes keeping, uh, keep, and it keeps getting better and better. Of course, now with the Carolina Reaper, that was a lovely addition according to Sasha. So, before I leave you, um, I have a couple of announcements. Um, it's been a while since I did a, since my last challenge. So, I think there's a couple of them coming up now. Not in a row, probably, but there's at least one chug from the League of Fire and one uh, chip challenge which is not the Paki chip challenge in fact this one is not even League of Fire but it is one I would like to introduce to all the people out there I haven't tasted it myself yet so it'll be a surprise for me too so, until next time, keep the fire burning. <laughs>